So in this box is a potential new dawn for both playing and coaching. It doesn't come cheap, however. It is just under 13,000 euros on pre-order. I'm one of the only people on planet Earth to have one of these cases. And what is inside is very, very cool. But is it gonna be worth that price tag? Well, let's find out. So this is a put view. X. So comment below what you think as we go through this box and make sure you are a subscriber to the channel. First challenge is getting it open. It's a good box. It has to be said. Okay, here we go. It's foam. So if you are into augmented reality, this is something I didn't think I'd be saying today, you might already know what this is. So this is a HoloLens 2 from Microsoft, which has been adapted by PopView for a very specific purpose. Very simple, your eyes go behind these lenses, it uses augmented reality to beam an image onto these glasses so it looks like it is in your vision when it is in fact in the ether, it doesn't exist. And PopView say that these do something absolutely incredible. You can go onto any green, anywhere in the world and have any put and these will read the break. In other words, once these are powered on, and set up correctly, you should never misread a put ever again, which is pretty crazy. But we need to understand, first of all, how adaptable they are, how functional they are, if they're gonna work for you guys, and really who this is aimed at. Right, what else is in this box? How does this all work? So we have attachments, they like wearing caps. A lot of these things here are to help manage with heat. The battery life on a HoloLens 2 is about two to three hours. So you could get nine holes out of this, I suppose 18 if you continually power it on and off. You also get a Samsung phone. Now this is essential if you want to use the PutView app, which we will get into. We've also got a Wi-Fi router. We've got some charging cables and whatnot, but we don't really need to get into those. That's a cool case, isn't it? I have to say, if you get presented with something like this after spending all that cash, I think you'd be happy. Looks like you mean business. Now we're at the lodges here at Don Donald, we're here filming all week. And this, outside the back of the lodges, is a newly laid green. In other words, there's no way that this green could have been put into like any system or it couldn't have been mapped in any way. So in other words, we're going to see how accurate this put view system actually is. First things first, go try and get this thing connected. Oh, I heard something come on. There's speakers inbuilt to this, I hope, or I'm yet again hearing things. Does this, do you, do you not think this is gonna be the latest style? No? Kira, what do you think? I think this is a good look. So this is the PopView Outdoor Companion app. So this should allow you guys to see what I see. So HoloLens connected, I believe that's a good sign. Now, if we go on here, this should load up the actual screen. So this is the only thing, when you do like a live video, the actual performance may dip a little bit, but so far, so good. So this is what I'm seeing. So can you see the, the start target ball or that jazz? I've got different screens here I can put up. So if I like start waving my hand around, oh, there we go. So this is the put view screen. So this is where I can control. So green speed here, I'm gonna say it's slightly less. I'm gonna say it's, I reckon around 8.5. So, so all of this I think is good. Okay, we'll keep the color the same. Then I can just swipe that away. Away. Off you go. Off you pop. <laughs> Didn't really need to do that much. Hey, pop you. New target. Okay. New ball. So now what it should do is it should hook up those two different points and give me the break. So from this point here, I'm looking straight down the line and I'm seeing all the magic things. That is a little bit wild. So this has this put pretty straight, breaking slightly to the left if it runs out of pace. So first test, Hold it. Oh, 
such a massive problem. Unfortunately, I don't think this system does anything about if you're a terrible putter to begin with. Let's try something else. So let's go over to this way. It's gone a bit of a longer one. And what it also does is as you go like to a different part of the green, can you see how, David, can you, st can you see how it's still got the original put on? So technically you could walk as far away as you want and that still would be there. Hey, put view, new target. Hey, put view, new ball. Yeah, so you don't even need to actually have the ball on the green. Now that is wild, that looks cool. That looks pretty cool. Kind of slightly hovering off the surface. And normally that should be pretty flush. I've not gone through a full adaption of this to my face. I think that might be I think a little bit of an issue. That looks perfect, there you go. Oh, that looks sick. Dave, that must look cool. It's just magic, isn't it? That, by the way, is the uh, technical way that these lenses work. Uh, it's, it's magic. I am basically Gandalf right now. So I want to add a few more things to this. So let's go contour line, setup lines for info. Do you take that back? So as I look down on this green now and on this put now, this is giving me all the extra information. So where the actual contour lines are on the green, all those different little gradients there. And as I get set up, it's also showing me all these aim lines as well. So I can get myself squared off to that target. Now you can imagine this being like mega useful, certainly if you're coaching and you wanna get people to understand how to set up and certainly how to get the pace right. Has to be. That must still look good. That must still look so good. The only AR I have kind of any experience with is when you have a screen, which is then using the camera to put something in that augmented reality. Now with this, there is a, a lens in between you and the reality, and then the augmentation is kind of sitting in between, but it's not completely like immersive, like straight away. Shall we try like a crazy snaker? Hey, put view, new target, new ball. This has never been seen on a putting green in Scotland before. I can guarantee that. I can guarantee that I am the first golfer to wear this in Scotland, where the game was invented. Tom Morris will be losing his mind right now, if you could see this. David, how wild is this, man? How can it figure out that small amount of break? That was bang on line, it was just uphill. Right, so we've got a short put here. David, could you switch on like the contour lines for me, please? There we go. Maybe the aim lines? Oh, there we go, yeah, yeah. So this would be cool. So like, if David was coaching me, like this would be great because like you could be explaining and describing all this stuff to me as well. That was pure, literally all the way. Like this is cool. We're gonna have to definitely do a little bit more experimentation with it, but oh <laughs> man, this is wild. Smash that like button if you think you need one of these in your life to help with your putting. Honestly, that was wild. That was crazy. I'm not entirely sure how to explain that whole experience just because it was so strange. So, so weird, like just never had done anything felt seen like it words i think if i'm giving a lesson to somebody this is going to be very useful to well help in all manner of things a few weaknesses like i know i have to know the speed of the greens there were a couple of slight connection issues there when i started to use the screen record but that might just be the power of the phone for example one of the true tests on this as far as like practicality is concerned is let's say we wanted to take this out on the course and we were going from hole to hole would it be possible just like to take it off and then put it on when you get to the green. I'm not sure like how quickly that will be able to adapt. That's something that we're definitely gonna have to test. But comment below, like what do you think of a system like it? As far as cost-wise, if you get a Trackman or a GC Quad, for example, like the top launch monitors, that's what you're gonna be paying. So is this alongside that as far as like a putting training aid is concerned? More experimentation needed, but very interesting. Very interesting indeed.